back with Neil Young this morning from Alexa Energy. Neil, morning. Uh, morning to you and, and great to be back after after a few weeks hiatus. Yes, it's been a couple of weeks, Neil. And in that time, you've announced a, a timetable for recommencing stimulation at Daydream 2. Uh, just tell us what the plans are. Yes, yeah, so at the uh, end of April, we announced to, to the market that there'd been a temporary interruption to the process. Uh, the contractor Halliburton had to uh, leave after we had a slight delay with, with uh, a downhole obstruction. And what we announced a week or so ago was that we had engaged a replacement stimulation company called Condor Energy. We'd resolved the obstruction issue. And now we're all set to recommence this program uh, around the end of July. And just remind us, Neil, what they'll be testing. So we are undertaking a six-stage stimulation program. We got the first one away pretty successfully, and we're going back to test five other levels of the Daydream 2 well. That'll add an enormous amount of data in terms of flows and in terms of additional contingent resource booking to the really quite substantial upgrade that we made only about a month ago. And you've uh, added some additional acreage to the Queensland portfolio next door to Granders also. Yeah, very pleased to do that. The government in Queensland releases uh, acreage on a once a year basis. We applied at the end of last year and we got a license which is split into three separate areas. Two of them are in the Tarum trough and they add to our resource uh, basis there as and when that license is granted, which will take a few months as we work through various processes, then we'd expect another contingent resource upgrade. It also has another area with, with different targets to it. So it's uh, always very pleasing to add to the asset base at very minimal cost. And it's a reflection of the good work that we've done and the relationships we've built with the Queensland regulator. And you've already kicked off some technical studies on it. Uh, yeah, exactly. We we see some targets to drill in the uh, conventional side on this this uh, southwest part of the package, and we are starting to engage people with respect to potential for partnering on that, um, as well as the much larger partnering discussions on the overall grandest project. And, and I'm just back from a from a from a trip to various places, including the states, and uh, uh, and and there's growing interest in what is a very large and very well located play in countries like that. And also visiting uh, Mongolia, Neil. Oh, have you got an update for us as far as operations there? Yeah, so I was there as part of this trip. Uh, things are going to plan in terms of the Nomgon pilot. We continue to depressurize the reservoir. Um, we haven't given an exact time frame, but we anticipate in a number of months, can't, sorry, can't be more specific, that we will see desorbed gas breakthrough and, and that will catalyze various partnering discussions that we're also having with respect to that asset too. Just remind us, Neil, what are you hoping to learn from this pilot program? So we want to see uh, um, gas being released uh, from the cleats through depressurization. When we first undertook this pilot, we had gas come out from fractures, which, which was great, but that wasn't sustained and that's typical for a coal seam gas play. We, we wanna see gas come out far more steadily and over a far longer period from the cleats. And that's what this program should deliver in a number of months time. And what do you see as the, the target market for this project and for this gas? So in, in Mongolia, the likely partners and targets uh, always have a Chinese element to them. Uh, that's uh, rather more sort of specific, whereas the grandest project in Queensland's got a, got a broader group, you know, existing players in Queensland, American companies with significant expertise, uh, LNG customers from countries like Japan. So it's horses for courses with assets like this. And Good to speak, Neil. Thanks for your time. Thank you.